Hello guys, Prop2010 with you today and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to split your clips and then export every single split part of the clip as a different video file. And a lot of people have been asking me this, so I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial. So what you're going to first do is you're going to first import a clip inside of Sony Vegas, the project media section. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest you start off with simpler tutorials and found, you can find that in my playlist, in my Sony Vegas playlist. But you first you import your media into your project media section and then from here you're gonna go ahead and drag it out into the timeline now here is where all your stuff is going on so let's go ahead and make three different two different splits to have three different clips so let's have a split right there and have a split right there and I did that by pressing S on my keyboard and I'm just gonna separate these three so let's say we, we've made, uh, we've, we've edited these clips and we're ready to export them. But we want every clip, every little split part of it to be rendered out as a different video. If we render it out as is right now, it's going to render everything, the whole thing, up to this clip. So there's going to be a video and there's going to be a black spot right here until it goes back to this video and another black spot until it finally finishes up with this clip here. But if uh, the way we're gonna do it is we're only gonna select a region to be rendered out and to do that here's where the little this thing right here you probably had this before but this option right here that I'm doing right now this is actually like the loop region area and we're gonna be using this to render out only a certain part of the video so to do that let's go ahead and first uh, go up here in the beginning so now first how to get to there is uh, put your mouse right above the timeline markers so you, you have your clip you have your pan pan tool and if you go up one more your cursor changes to uh, uh, like a ver horizontal double lines and a, um, a cursed <coughs> excuse me and a cursor so how to do that is you go up to the beginning of the clip just estimate because it's gonna snap into place go up to the beginning of the clip and click and drag and as you can see the loop region area kind of snaps into place and, it, and if this is not the selection that you want you can go ahead and freely move these around so even if it didn't get the whole video clip you can grab this top thing and move it up a little bit to the front now that we have this whole clip selected we want to go to file render as and here is where we're gonna check render loop region only and once this is checked you go ahead and proceed with your normal rendering uh, with your normal rendering options and press save and it should render out only that single part of the clip same thing applies with these two parts of the clip you're gonna go ahead and click up here up in the front and it's gonna snap into place and then it's gonna snap into the until the end of the clip same thing go to file render as make sure that render loop region only is selected and press save and keep doing this for the rest of your clip uh, and uh, also they, they don't need to be splitted so you can even have them together but if you know uh, exactly the place where you can like create a mark here and you can go ahead and move this up and it also snap into place and you could render out only that loop region home, uh, area so this is how you actually render out the clips uh, if they're sp split it and sign up Sony Vegas and render them out separately as different videos I hope this tutorial was of some help to you guys. If you have any questions or any more requests for video tutorials, please leave me a message and, uh, and I'll try to get back to you and try to make your tutorial as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.